Like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell. Now to the video. Hey guys, Demon here, and today we are reviewing Maniac. Uh, so this was a series on Netflix in 2018 that I was going to watch. At first I thought it was a movie, but it's actually a whole 10 episode series. Um, I just eventually, right now, got to watching it, and there are several other videos, or several other series, and plus a movie or two on Netflix that I'm going to watch and also review, hopefully before a season two comes out. I don't think a season two is going to come out for this, but uh, hopefully those ones I'll be able to watch before a season two comes out. So, this was a series on Netflix that I was going to watch, because it sounded pretty interesting. And I gotta say, after watching it, it was pretty interesting. Fairly interesting um the plot was different but kind of predictable at the same time because there's obviously going to be conflict in this um hmm so let's just get into it let's just talk about the characters and stuff like that so there's two main characters there's a guy with schizophrenia and then there's a girl that just is addicted to drugs because her sister died um, and the guy who's, like, who has schizophrenia, his brother's, like, an asshole and also uh, a rapist. So he's just like, I don't know what to do because he's a rapist and an asshole <laughs> at the same time. It's just, it's just interesting, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's just interesting. So basically, they go into this program to try to solve their problems. And at the end, it does work. It semi-works, I guess. Because it seems like he doesn't have schizophrenia anymore. He doesn't see anything anymore. And it seems like she's finally able to move past her her problems. But at the same time, the machine almost killed them. And he saved them, I guess. It was kind of weird, kind of dumb. And it was kind of like predictable that the machine was going to go stupid and bad. Um, because the girl made it have uh, emotions for some reason. I guess it was to make the process go better. But, uh, yeah. And the doctor who runs it all, he has, like, a really weird relationship with his mom. Like, really weird. Uh, and it's kind of funny. But, yeah, like, the whole time, it's just a pretty weird, messed up situation. And they become friends through the simulation because, like, their minds connect uh, through the computer it's like a, a cord glitch, I assume, because that's what they showed you in the, in the show. And then they become friends. They're not, like, uh, lovers yet. They're just friends. And by the end, he does testify against his brother. He's just like, yeah, that's my brother, dude. He's an asshole. He's a terrible person. And I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. Like, if your family member does something wrong, right, you shouldn't necessarily disown them, okay? Like, they are your family, right? And especially depending on who. It is obviously, but that doesn't mean that you should uh, like like defend them or like not tell the truth about them because they did something wrong and disgusting. And it seems like it backfired because they didn't care and they just threw him in jail because they, he made a blemish on their name, which is really stupid. Uh, like if my sister did something like that, like murder somebody or rape somebody. I wouldn't be defending her. I wouldn't be like, oh, she didn't do that. Like, I saw like the whole thing. She didn't do it, right? I would be like, no, she did do it. She's an asshole, and she deserves to get punished for it. But I'd be like, I still love her because she's my sister, you know? That's what you got to be. You got to be, like, a mixture of, like, like I love her or I love them, but they got to they gotta pay for their crimes that they did, you know? You can't just let people get away with their crimes, uh, especially a fucked up crime like that. So, yeah, like, all in all, it was actually a pretty good series. Uh, I would suggest watching this if you have not watched it yet. The plot line is pretty interesting. Uh, it's kind of, like, futuristic, yet the technology that they're using is kind of, like, old school, yet futuristic. It has an old school look, but it's futuristic. You know what I mean? It has an old school look, but futuristic. It's kind of like, um, Star Trek kind of reminds me of Star Trek, maybe a little bit. And a little bit of aliens, or alien, I guess. Because just like the big bulky computers and stuff like that, 
And probably like a few other shows, like uh, what's that one with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, where he like gets frozen and he wakes up in the future and they have like futuristic technology, but it's all like big bulking computers and stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of that. It's like old school chic, yet uh, advanced. So it's pretty interesting. It has a, it has a nice style. And it's a pretty interesting story. Uh, Although you can tell what's going to happen. You can tell that the computer's going to screw up somehow. And you can tell by the end they're going to become... Like, I thought at first they were going to become lovers. Because they were, like, married in most of their fantasies. But at the end they become friends and it's a good start. Who knows where that road's going to end. I doubt we're going to get a season two. But, you know, that's where it starts. And it's just, like, this nice little neat contained story that only took ten episodes... It didn't have any, like, really filler in it, which is really nice, because a lot of shows nowadays, like, we can't make this whole thing ten episodes. We gotta, like, put some bullshit in there. Uh, Time Titans, or Titans, I should say. <laughs> uh, live action one, I mean. Um, but yeah, like, it's, uh, it's a very interesting, good show, and I would suggest watching it if you have not. Anyways, I hope you liked this review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, wait around for my next review because it will come out eventually and it will be on a different Netflix show. I don't know which one yet. Um, but there are a few that I'm going to watch. And plus, there is one coming out on the 14th or 15th of this month, I think. It's a season two of something I've already reviewed and I'm definitely going to review it. So look out for that. But anyways, if you did like this, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification because you know you love my content and you want more. As always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video because I know I did. But anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, do it because she wants you to. And I do too. So subscribe. Watch the videos. Hit one of these things on the screen right now. Okay. Bye-bye. Peace.